welcome back to Good Day State Line. So we hear all the time about what we need to fix inside of our cars, but how do we really know what that means? Matt is here from Cars R Us to break it down for us because we want to be able to trust who's working on our car, right? Absolutely, Michelle. It's so important. About. All right, Absolutely. so tell me a little bit about Cars R Us before we get to whatever's on the table. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so Cars R Us started with my brother and I. Um, we're about 12 years in existence. And I actually taught high school band for six years, uh -huh. decided I needed to find another career. And then I went in and uh, went into real estate and business. Uh, when I knew I wanted to own a business, but I didn't really know what I wanted to do. And then my brother said, hey, I want to op open a shop. And I'm like, yeah, but you work on cars. You don't know how to run the business. And so all of a sudden the idea was born. It's like, well, let's partner. And, and my brother's kid actually named the business. He was like one year old. And he was like, <laughs> Toys R Us. And it came to us like Cars R Us. Perfect. So, yeah. you know, we, we ended up coming up with that. And we enjoy what we do. We have fun. Um, and, and my big perspective is I want to bring an educational aspect to what we do. Sure. I mean, I taught high school. I did that because I wanted to reach out to kids. And, and, and that's still a passion of mine. Do it regularly, um, you know. But from a, a, a perspective of a female walking in the door, you feel intimidated, right? Mm -hmm. You feel like, what number are they thinking about with me? What what money are they going to try to get out of me? And that that came across to me because I didn't know cars, right? I, I taught high school band. Sure. I didn't work on cars, and it's scary to walk in and know I might get taken advantage of. And I've been ripped off. I've been on that side. So our staff is trained and has the same mindset of we want to bring you education and evidence of what's going on with your. Car. And then it's up to you on your budget, and we're going to help you prioritize that budget to know that, A, you're getting what you're paying for and that you need what we're recommending. Which is awesome. And also as a consumer perspective, like if you tell me, okay, this, 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 and this probably need to be fixed, but this and this are really important, guess what? I'm going to come back to you to fix this and this later when yep, I have my yep. money. <laughs> and, and most importantly, that you can see it. So we do a yeah. digital inspection. So it's got pictures. It's got description of what's in that picture because you don't need to know everything about it, but you want to have an understanding of, yeah, that's my car yeah. and and what is it that you're recommending and what's wrong with it right so if you could see in the picture uh, that what's going on with it it makes it a lot easier to understand and, and feel the value of what you're getting sure. versus hey I spent a thousand bucks what did I get I, I don't yeah. see it I don't feel it right <laughs> right right you could buy a TV it's on the wall yes. you get car repair sometimes you don't even know what you can't see what we did sure. and that creates that deceptiveness which we want to eliminate. Okay, so what'd you bring here? What are you gonna show me? So I got some cool stuff here. That first the cabin air filter. We all know we got an engine air filter, um, but the cabin filter is inside your glove box. So that filters oh. the air you breathe. Okay. And mm -hmm. a lot of places don't check that. So we've actually this is one we pull out of a car of course. Looks um, great. We've pulled them out <laughs> with mold, mildew, and, and sometimes they're in there 80, 100 thousand miles, 10 years. So imagine your furnace filter what it look like yeah. if you're if we're in your, your house for 10 years. That's what you're breathing in your car so we replace these and then we do an anti-mold and fungus treatment inside cool. your your vents so it smells good breathing clean air and it makes it a lot easier for you uh, health wise that, you know I spent a lot of time in my car it's important absolutely uh, a couple other things we got here this is the insides of a catalytic converter these are actually made of platinum so what happened is over time the spark plugs were not changed the maintenance wasn't done so then this starts to get clogged and you can see those ports should be clean and you can see they're all clogged and obviously this one's all broken up so over time that starts to happen so are the recommendations being made by the shop to you a lot of times what I've seen is the the recommendations are never made it's not sure. that you don't do it it's why was it that recommended spark plug should have been done at 100,000 and you're at 150 well nobody ever told me that um, and here's a spark plug so you can see here this is an example of one that was way over um, in the vehicle way too long mm -hmm. because what happens you can see the rust here and this should have a little tip on this top right here which it doesn't have this rust freezes in inside the engine. Well, now, instead of maintenance, you might be in the major repairs because these got to come out that now. little guy. Yeah, and if you do it early enough, this rust isn't there. It's way easy to take okay. it out. You replace it, and then you get better fuel economy, too. So now, not only do you do the maintenance, but you save money driving the vehicle, All right? Great. Um, and then this guy, this is a ball joint, and so is this one. So these are, this is what holds your tire from flipping sideways. Okay. So if you've ever seen on the side of the road a car with the tire sideways, it's probably one of these that broke. And this is like a hip socket. So if you think about how you're hip moves this moves the same way and this one actually broke out you could see this ball joint here actually can fall out of the hole oh, yeah right that's not supposed to do that no, right gross. so so <laughs> that would actually make that tire flip sideways yeah. and we've had a couple of those into the shop where they've luckily they did it in their driveway where the tire flips sideways nice. but I mean imagine going 65 on the highway and that tire flips sideways so 
by regular maintenance and by a, a place you can trust and coming in, you know, every three to six months, not just procrastinating on it, but get it in there. Even yeah. if you're not driving a ton right now with COVID and all that, you still need that regular maintenance because the weight of the vehicle is still on that vehicle. Right. You've got to get it serviced and then that's going to avoid some of those bigger All right, so issues. how do we find you? How do our viewers go see you? So you can go to our website, carsrust.net, and right on there, there's a text number. So you Ooh. can actually text in oh, us, set up the, the appointment number. via text. It's, <laughs> it's super good. We actually get a lot of people that do that now. And, and all you do is text in, hey, my name's, well, I want to do an appointment. There's also appointment request on our it. website. So you can do that. Or, of course, you can call us. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for teaching us all this stuff, Matt. Thanks, Michelle. And coming up next on Good Day State Line, Sarah from Dady Law is joining us here in the studio. And later, we're having a Sunday fun day with Rush Creek Distilling. We'll be right back after a look at today's forecast. Hello, State Line. We've had quite a few pretty warm days here in the area over the past uh, week or so. Temperatures in the 80s yesterday, and they are expected to be back in the 80s today. However, we are expecting a pretty notable cool down for the middle of next week. You can see 80s are expected uh, here in the State Line through about the middle or so of next week, well above where they should be for this time of year. But a storm system moving on in Wednesday into Thursday is going to move uh, through and bring us not only a chance for some rain, but also it's going to cool our temperatures temperatures down into the low 70s as a very strong cold front is going to be attached to that storm system. But conditions do remain nice and warm for the end of our weekend temperatures in the low to mid 80s. Likely going to see more clouds than sunshine. We'll probably even see a few pop up showers here later on this afternoon and evening, maybe even one or two thunderstorms. You see quite a few rain and storm chances over the next several days, especially in the middle of the week with that storm system moving on through. It's going to cool us down for the latter half of the week. Hey, it's me, your dry skin. I'm craving something we're missing. The ceramides in V. They help restore my natural barrier so I can lock in moisture. We've got to have each other's backs. V. now the number one dermatologist recommended skincare brand. I'm Michelle Abraham with our District 16 Troopers and we're talking about construction zone safety. Construction zones pose an increased risk to motorists and workers alike. Watch for uneven pavement and narrow lanes. Heavy equipment, and barriers near the traffic lane. Pay attention to the flagger. Follow at a safe distance. Always obey the posted speed limit. The workers in these zones deserve our utmost attention. Please give them a break. These safe driving tips are brought to you by Fisk and Model Leone Law Office. Welcome back to Good Day State Line. May is National Pet Month, and we know how much GDS viewers love their pets, so we thought it's the perfect time to talk to Kristen Levine, pet living expert and author of Pampered Pets on a Budget. Hi, Kristen. Hey, Michelle. Great to see you. Yeah, great to see you, too, and all that cool stuff around you. It's like, I want to be a pet, because you have all this awesome stuff. <laughs> tell me. It's a good time to be a pet, I'll tell you that. It is a good time to be a pet. So tell me, first of all, what is a pet living expert? Well, I help people make decisions about their pets' health, wellness, and lifestyle, and I do that because I've had 30 years in experience working with veterinarians, trainers, behaviorists, and... I just love to pass on the knowledge that I have to others because we're really focused on making sure our pets have the best lives they possibly can have. I love that so much, especially when you think about the cool products that are out there for pets because a lot of them seem cool, um, but not having someone to go to to find out is this worth the price or is it not? And that's kind of where you come in, right? It really is. It really is. I, I tend to review products and pick out my favorites. And, and actually, one of my top favorites, if you're into technology, you're mm -hmm. going to like this one a lot. It's the award-winning MyQ Pet Portal. Now, this lets pet parents safely let their dogs outside to potty or to play, or both, <laughs> even when they're not at home. So it's a smart pet door that's integrated into a beautiful Colby door, so it looks beautiful on your home. And you manage it through the, smart, the uh, MyQ Pet Portal smartphone app right on your phone. And it even allows you to see, with the, with the live streaming video, you can see and talk to your dog. So um, wow. I, I like it because it helps us stay connected to them while we're not at home. And these are professionally installed doors starting at just under $3,000. But really cool, huh? That is so cool. Our meteorologist, I know I have to tell him about it. He has two dogs and he loves all the techie things he can do with them. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely, he'll love it. <laughs> so what do you have uh, suggestions for to feed a puppy or a kitten? 
short. Well, lots of puppies and kittens have been adopted uh, during mm -hmm. the pandemic, and puppies and kittens need special, complete, balanced nutrition. And the best way to set up a, the foundation for a future of, of you know, healthy mm -hmm. lifestyle is to feed Purina because they have a whole assortment of quality puppy and kitten food so that they get the nutrition that they need. There's Pro Plan Puppy, Purina One Kitten, there's puppy chow and kitten chow, and you can get all this information and even more tips on how to how to feed and care for your puppy and kitten over at purina.com slash healthy dash start. Yeah, that must be a very trendy topic right now because a lot of people did get new animals in the last year and they want to make sure they're living their best lives. Now, when you feed them a lot, then you have to clean up after them. I'm sure you have something <laughs> uh, to help us out with that too, Kristen. This is true, and nobody likes that part, right? So <laughs> really. I say let a robot do, <laughs> have a robot do the dirty work for you. Uh, Roomba has their i3 plus robot vacuum with clean base automatic dirt disposal, and it's really perfect for the pet home because it has self-emptying capability, and it's got a patented dual rubber brush design that pulls in pet hair and dirt from hard floors or for, from carpeting. And one of the things I also love about it is it traps 99% of dog and cat allergens in its mm. filter, which, which makes the air cleaner. Now this thing gets smarter over time, gives you cleaning tips during allergy and shedding season, and you can even pair it with Alexa to make it even that much more effortless. I love that, that is so awesome. What about, uh, what do you have right in front of you? Did we talk about that yet? Uh, not yet, this okay. is my last tip for you. So this is called All In. It is a life stage supplement for dogs. My dog Tulip takes the puppy mm -hmm. formula and my dog Chili takes the senior formula. <laughs> and basically Vetrison has re-engineered how pet supplements work and made them more absorbable. So they pair essential nutrients with this amazing protein technology so that your dog can absorb 10 times more of the nutrition than any other supplement. And this technology is not available in any other dog supplement on the market so I highly recommend it it's packed with prebiotics and antioxidants and the best part about it is my dogs think it's a treat <laughs> so when I open the jar they come running I know they've got their supplement for the day and they think they got a, an extra treat so pick that up at Chewy Amazon or pet stores near you that's awesome that's how I feel about gummy vitamins I was like this is dessert so this is <laughs> Same thing. Exactly. <laughs> Kristen, where can we go uh, to get more information or maybe to follow you on social media? Sure. Just visit tipsontv.com and you can follow me at, on Instagram at, at pet.living. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time this morning. When we come back, we're naming our next fan of the week. But first, it's birthday time. We're sending a huge happy birthday to Debbie today. And we have three different awesome women celebrating Thursday, May 27th. Ariel is turning 24. Uh, we are also wishing Linda a happy birthday as well. And producer MJ from 97ZOK. Her birthday is May 27th too. Send us your friends and family birthday shout outs anytime uh, via email. Good day, Stateline at WTBO.com. We'll be right back.